much uh, offensively like sound, um, focused, offensively driven. Um, hopefully the plan tomorrow is to put them together too. Um, Sides of the floor. Hopefully I can play a little bit more defense, do a lot more defensively. Um, and kind of get up and down like truly with the ladies. So I was excited to be out here. I'm always grateful. Um, if you know my story, you know what I've been through, I'm just happy to be here. So I think it's a good day for me and my team. Your two preseason games, what are your general observations about what this new group can look like and can do eventually? Uh, we could be invincible, man. Invincible, man. I, I, I sincerely believe that because we're young, we're vibrant, but um, we're, we're going to be different than any other team you've ever seen, obviously, for so many different reasons. But um, our weapons can be utilized in different ways, and that's how a great we could be because everybody can do everything. So it's a really great thing. What specifically is hard for you to do right now? Uh, nothing. I feel I feel really really great. Um, I think for me it's about making sure I've been professionally um, been professional on and off the floor. So for for me it's about making sure I'm listening to my listen to the doctor, listen to um, the proper protocol just to make sure I'm, I'm getting everything I need going into the beginning of the season. Seeing how much this league and this team has changed since you got here. What do yeah. you think of the, the private jet announcement? This week? Uh, I was really excited. Um, it's been a while since I left college and had it, so I'm um, very very grateful. Um, they supported us in college, so it's real, it feels really good to kind of get that back. What feels different about the franchise this year? Um, to obviously, it's a lot more eyes than we've ever seen, um, respectfully, uh, for good reason. Uh, I think for us, it's about making sure we keep the main thing the main thing, though. So uh, we know all the eyes is going to be on us and what they're here for, but if we could collectively keep it X's and O's and keep focus on why we're actually here, I think we've got a great chance to be really good. This has talked a lot about the space, the extra space that you yeah. have to operate in the preseason. I know you haven't had the chance to play in the preseason, yeah. but do you anticipate having a, a similar effect once you're out there? Yeah, for me, man, as a guard, I always want to find my different angles. Like, And I think with our offense and the weapons that we have now, those angles are going to be there a little bit more efficiently. Um, and once I find them and see them early, I think I could, you know, capitalize on them as a group, as a team. Um, and then individually, you know, I'm good at touching the paint, I think. And so whenever I can touch the paint and spray out with that space that you talk about, I think we can score a lot of points. <laughs> Pushing the ball is obviously something that you've done for, oh, for a sure. long time. But for sure. I mean, that's Caitlin's ability to get the ball ahead. Yeah. It seems like that would fit with your game perfectly and vice versa. It's you. Oh, for sure. Um, I think I think for us, as long as we kind of keep fundamentally, how can I say? I think fundamentally sound things are good for us. So we can get up the floor with a pass instead of so much dribbling. If we can get everything as far as fluidity, I don't know if you guys watched the Nuggets, but Fluid is, 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 is Malone's, Malone's term. So if we can do everything fluid, get it up there with a pass, utilize Caitlin's vision um, down, the of the, down the stretch of the floor, we got a chance to like really play and transition the way we want to. So I'm excited. When you're watching these preseason games, are you trying to think about how you could fit into stuff that's happening, or are you trying to just see in general where the team is at? Uh, I would say a combination of both. Um, I, I think the competitive, competitor in me always wants to you know, learn what I can do and make sure I'm, you know, on my P's and Q's, but I think for the most part, you gotta sit and enjoy this stuff too, man. I don't, it's been a while since we had this many people in the crowd. It's been a while since we had a lot of things. So in a way, you gotta kind of enjoy it, but also be a competitor and know, you know, play a role and do it right. Have you already thought ahead to what the start of the schedule will be like in terms of game oh, after man. game after game? Oh, uh, it's gonna be a quick turnaround. We won't have much time to dwell on how bad things could be or how great things could be. I think it's a happy medium. Um, and I think with our young ones, we'll just, you know, CC going to need some time to kind of, you know, decompress. There's going to be days where we all will. So hopefully we can lean on each other in that process. But like, like you said, it's going to be the quick turnaround is going to make or break us. And I think it can make us who we are if we just not dwell on it so much and keep the main thing the main thing. Have you felt the buzz beyond Indianapolis, but maybe back home with friends and family? Ah, uh, like, for hey, sure. Can't wait for Tuesday? I think a lot of people are excited about what this could be and what Indiana Fever can be. And I think for us, that image is really great, but I think X's and O's wise, we got a chance to do something really special if we put our minds to it. So the outside is the outside, man. But I think intuitively we got to stick to what's here. So that's important. Yeah, you've been one of like the only constants on this team since 2018. Just how have you seen it evolve, especially into this year? Um, I think from a social media standpoint and what the eyes are, I think that's cool and that's changed. But I think. You know, from a de development standpoint, I would say that our league has made drastic changes, but um, the players itself, we, I think this league has always had killers. This league ain't never not had great basketball players, so I think we got to keep that into perspective. As we you know, things have changed, but the W is a W for a reason. It's only 144 for a reason, so we got to keep that into perspective. What are your thoughts on the expansion possible? Oh, we need it. Yeah, we need that. And I think we need the more and more players we can get into this league. And, you know, you can't help but, you know, want those college players to come over here and kind of, 
you know, find their own professional way, but you can't help but think that we don't have enough space either. So it's good for us. I think that expansion is really good for the league.